I'm Tim Miley, this is Tiger Talks, and here are more ways insurance companies are trying to screw you. You're in a car crash, you're injured, you get treatment, and that treatment might consist of three months of physical therapy or chiropractic care or massage therapy, whatever it is. Sometimes the insurance company will use gaps in your treatment against you. The insurance company will say, you didn't go to all the treatment that was prescribed for you. You didn't go because you weren't hurting. Your injuries aren't as severe as what you're now claiming. That's just not reality. Life is messy. Sometimes you just can't go to every treatment that's prescribed for you for any number of reasons, but don't let the insurance company devalue your claim with that excuse. Let's say you were injured from a crash and you had to miss work for your medical treatment and care, but yet you had sick days and vacation time to pay you for that time off. The insurance company will screw you by claiming that they're not obligated to pay you for that time off since you didn't lose any wages. Wait a minute, that was your time that you earned that you now had to sacrifice and use. Don't let the insurance companies get away with not paying you for that. You're entitled to it. When you go to the store to buy eggs, the outside of the carton isn't damaged, but you still open the carton to look for damaged eggs. Sometimes things on the outside aren't what they are like on the inside. Just like your injury claim, the outside of the car may not show a lot of damage, but it doesn't mean that you, the driver or the passenger in the car, didn't get hurt. Don't let the insurance companies get away with devaluing your injury claim simply because they don't believe there was much property damage. Sometimes you're in an accident and you're not injured, but your property has been damaged. In many cases, what we're seeing from insurance companies is that they will lowball you on your property damage. If my car has $10,000 worth of damage, they'll come in and offer you $8,000 and they'll say, what are you gonna do, sue us? And then when you go find a lawyer to try and take your case, you won't find any because they don't wanna charge you that will cause you to get less than what you are entitled to. What you can do though, is get materials to help educate yourself on how to handle your own property damage claim. We have a book that we prepare to give to people that helps walk you through the process so that you can be armed with that information as you're negotiating with the insurance company for your property damage. When you're in an accident and your car needs to be repaired, the insurance company has an obligation to pay for your lost use. And how do they do that? They need to pay for your rental vehicle. The insurance company will try to put you in a car not even remotely comparable to what you are driving, but instead will put you in something the size of a roller skate and say that they've done their job. That's just yet one of the many ways insurance companies try to screw people in accidents. Everybody knows that a car that has been in an accident, that the resale value of that car goes down even after the car has been repaired. The insurance company knows that too, but yet won't pay you for that diminished value. Don't let them get away with that. I'm Tim Miley. This is Tiger Talks. Thanks for watching.